Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com. We are doing a Verizon network drive test here. We've got the drive test manager, Randy, here. This is the car that goes around and checks Verizon's network to see how it, how the signal strength is and all those sorts of things. And we're gonna learn a little bit about how this all works. Randy? How are you? How are you? If you wanna tell us a little bit about what we've got back here in your trunk. Well, uh, first off, it's a 2008 Tahoe. That's what most of the drivers have. Okay, a Tahoe. Three things that we need for to run the test is we need air conditioning in the back. It gets real hot back here. Okay. We need a big enough roof to, to house all the antennas to make sure there's enough separation between the antennas so there's no interference. Right. And we need uh, a lot of them need four wheel drive. Get in the winter time, you can be able to get out of out of the snow during the snow. We have two units back here. We used to have four. We used to have separated between voice and data. Now we combine them into one. So one of these modules works for voice and one for data. Well. They do both. Okay. Right now we have data cards sitting in the bottom here, and we have the voice phones on top. So there's, so there's literal, literally phones up here, and then there is a, some sort of data modem on the bottom. Correct. So okay. we have, this is called a single board computer, what they call SBC, we call SBC. Okay. That controls both. Got it. Now this is all controlled by a laptop up front, which tells it what to do, when to call, who to call, that type of thing. So this is beaming to the computer, uh, sort of signal strength, um, quality of connections. Correct. Of... Correct. And and so why are there four cell phones connected and four data modules? We do all the carriers. Oh, so you have a, a, a phone from every different carrier. We have two Verizon phones, one for incoming, one for outgoing. Okay. AT&T, Sprint, T-Mobile, and we also do Metro PCS. Metro PCS. Interesting. And so we've got some cooling equipment here. Is that what that is, right there? Right, yeah, it's got, they have built-in fans, so they try to regulate the temperature itself. Uh -huh. But sometimes it gets hot, so we need the vents up front to blow the cool air down. Just to sure, keep it standard vents. And what are these on the windows? These are antennas for the data markets. I see, so kind of get a connection there. Yeah, we have cards that are hooked to antennas to make sure the antennas get away from the equipment. Okay, so not get interference. And same with the roof, the, the voice antennas are on the roof. Voice antennas are on the roof. Can't quite see that. From Can't see are. them, yeah. Kind of, they look like little, uh, sort of little round. Yes. All right. Okay, and let's... And then we have the GPS antennas in the middle because we need to record where we have that information. Sure, sure. And do you want to walk around to the, uh, to the cabin here and okay. tell me what happens up here. Well, basically this turns the equipment on and off. Okay, you've got some switches there. Right. So we don't have to get out of the car, turn the equipment on, we can turn them on and off from the front. The laptop controls everything that happens. It controls who the voice phones call. Okay. It controls what the data uh, uh, modules would do. So when, you're, so when you're driving around, is the system constantly making calls, constantly connecting to yes. the data networks? Yes. The voice calls will average about a minute and a half. That's what they figured out was the average voice call. They just play some sound over the line? Actually, it's, it's actually Harvard sentences. Okay. And Harvard sentences are sentences that include all the sounds of the English language. So you're testing for audio quality too? Yes. yes. What it does is it'll call out, talk, talk back, talk, talk back, talk. Just continue for a minute and a half. We'll shut it down and start text. Okay. Data is pretty much the same way. They'll do upload, download, test. Sure. Go through the whole sequence. Stop. Start over. Upload, download, test. Stop. Start over. And so, what's the what's the purpose of this? Let's say you find that there's an area on the map where uh, the data speed isn't satisfactory. So you mark it on a map or something, and then what happens after that? If it's all recorded on a map. Any kind of if there's a failure, any kind of failure, any kind of low MOS scores, any kind of low data data. Um, throughputs, right. drop connections, that type of thing, they all get mapped. What we do is give that information to the engineers. Okay. They'll take it back. Actually, what we'll do is we'll take it back to the office, gather that information, give it to the engineer. Actually, we'll process it first, give it to the engineer, show them where processes, where we need to have better coverage. coverage. Uh, throughput might be low, it might be a drop connection, whatever. They'll figure out what happened. Right. They'll figure out whether we need a new cell tower, whether we need better capacity in that cell tower, or if it was just a one-day thing where it just kind of 
microphone. What, uh, what, if, if you were to need more capacity on a cell phone tower, what determines its capacity? Is it its connection speed or number of... Number of people. Number of, say number of people more. Right, but if I wanted to increase the capacity of a cell phone tower, what what would you have to do? Well, that's kind of not something I that I get involved with. But sure. apparently they, they they can install more cards or more equipment in. I see more equipment. Yeah. Very good. Okay, so when you're actually driving, you're you're looking at a map. Yeah. Okay, and and if something happens, an audible alarm will come on and say, you know, signal dropped or something. Right, right. Call dropped. Now, if a call dropped. You know, we keep driving. Now, what happens sometimes is the equipment doesn't work correctly. Okay. Computers. You know. Yeah, computers fail. If that happens and it doesn't correct itself, we have to stop, find out if it will correct itself. If it doesn't, stop, shut everything down, go back to where we started and start it. If something happened, we don't want to make sure, have that influence the results of it all. Okay, so do you do you literally drive up and down every street of a given neighborhood, or do you have a... We have. I drive about 2,500 miles quarter, which is kind of an average for the drivers. We have 100 drivers in the country. Uh, we drive all the main highways, main routes, and we try to cover most of the populated areas. Now, when the new census comes out... Sure what, we'll when the new what comes out? Census. Okay, yeah. We did a census last year. Uh, I'm sure we'll have to add some routes or change some routes to, to get major, major routes and the major population areas. Sure. Now, let's say you cover a certain town, you've driven through it, you've determined that the signal is good and everything. Does that mean it's crossed off the map, you never go back there, or will you go back there a year later or something like that? No, basically what we do is, is benchmarking, which means we have to, every quarter we drive the same thing over. Oh, every quarter you do the same thing. See if the results decline. If oh. the results decline, we know that, you know, because it's the same way and the same route, that something else is going on. What would cause the results to decline? Well, capacity issues. Oh, capacity. Population and grows, more people Buildings, new phones. buildings. Same, right. I right. see. Right. Very interesting. Um, very good. So are we going to drive? Yeah, we can go for a test drive. Great. So we're back from the drive and it was very interesting. What happens is the, the laptop will give off a, an audio alarm when something happens. And there was one alarm in particular. And I looked down at my T-Mobile phone and my T-Mobile phone had lost service. So. Obviously, that implied, the laptop was implying that it's T-Mobile phone had lost service. Um, so we're back here and we're parked. And uh, tell us, Randy, a little bit about why you like driving around. Because um, it seems kind of interesting that you, you, know, you drive around, you look for dead spots. What, what do you like about, about what you do? Well, one thing, I'm not much of a talker. Okay. <laughs> so when you do this job, you're kind of by yourself a lot. You don't need to do a whole lot of talking. Yeah, so there you, fair enough. I've always wanted to be, I've worked for the public a lot, and I just decided, no, I'd rather be some kind of a tester. Work in the background, do my thing, and uh, let somebody else actually worry about working with the public. So it's kind of a background thing that I like, that I'm testing the network. I'm in my vehicle sometimes eight, nine, 10 hours a day. Uh, sometimes I drive several hundred miles. You know, I'll drive, I drive about 30,000 miles a year. 30,000 miles yeah, a year. Not all testing, but you know, getting to the test, coming back from the test. So it's a lot of driving. So you must a be a very time. skilled driver. Uh, well, I'm a careful driver. <laughs> a yes. careful you driver. Have to be a careful driver. And that's one thing about the testing process. Uh, we're not allowed to have the equipment showing anything on a laptop while we're driving. Sure. You know, focused on the road, focused on somebody in front of me. And because we drive the same routes all the time, I have to make sure that I make the right turns. You know, I just can't drive anywhere fully really knowing. So, uh, but to me, I, you know, testing is it's for, you know, fun. I mean, that's kind of what you do for a living. You, you testing. It's, it is it's fun it's to a test. Lot of fun. Yeah. So I test the network. I don't test devices. I test the network. Um, been doing it for about five years. Um, used to work in sales for wireless before this. And uh, give me an idea of sort of the, the the radius that you will cover in in the course of a of a drive. I mean, will you go from Philadelphia to New Jersey, or do you go up to New York sometimes, or is that not your? Uh, my my specific area involves Philadelphia County, all the surrounding counties, Mercer County, which is Trenton, New Jersey, uh, Wilmington, Delaware, Cecil County, Maryland, and and well, western counties in southern New Jersey. Is there any overlap between drivers? No, no. We we basically do it by county, so uh, we meet at the counties. And so, the other regions meet at where we stop, so we all have over. We don't necessarily over. We overlap a little bit just to make sure we have. You know, we hand off into the different regions, but uh, we make sure that all the roads are driven end to end from uh, across the country to make sure all the roads are covered. Sure. So if somebody works, this is kind of a 
a little different topic. If somebody works in a skyscraper and um, no one in the in the building gets Verizon service, and they call Verizon, do, do they send you out in your car, or do they send someone out, an engineer on the ground with a laptop to test the, the conditions? Okay. Well, there's in building engineers that will hand, handle that. Okay. They'll come out with their equipment, figure out what needs to be done to get that office building covered with Verizon wrong service. That's not something I can do. Now we will have portable devices. Again, what I, I do is basically all carriers. We all we do. There is a portable device that covers all the carriers that, that uh, we're thinking about getting into. That can be in building, but right now uh, that's not part of what I do. Okay. Now, something you mentioned on the drive that we didn't cover previously is that you're also testing the LTE data on Verizon. Yes. Um, does that mean you're also testing uh, the WiMAX on Sprint? Yes. I see. So you've got pretty much everything covered. We, we try to cover everything as much as we can. Yes. <laughs> well, there's a lot of antennas connected to this vehicle, so I'm yeah. sure it stands out a little bit. Yeah, the primary thing about all the drivers and about this whole program is safety. They want us to drive safe, no matter what. Sure. So. That makes sense. Right. Very good. Well, thanks yeah. very much, Randy. Okay. Appreciate it. Yep.